My name is Thomas Lyman. My band's name is Toaster. Well, me and my drummer Abe one day, we were just messing around, kind of deciding names, and uh, he said Toaster, like, kind of as a joke, and I actually thought it was pretty good, so I was like, let's just name it that. My name is Abe Lyman. My name is Adam Nez. I'm, I'm the drummer, I keep the beat. And I play the bass. So I was like, thinking about what I wanted to do in life, and I was like, I want to be a professional drummer, but we need a band name. And I was walking in a canyon, and there's just this like cliff. And I was thinking, what should the band name be? And like a cliff, it just dropped the toaster down. Like there's a toaster on the edge. And I was like, wow, that, that should be the name, Toaster. It started about my junior year in high school, I think. I wanted to start it like sophomore year, but it took a long time to find people to play the instruments. So I just got my cousin Abe to play drums. He really likes drums, so he played the drums. Uh, my friend Connor, I taught him how to play the guitar. And then my other cousin Ella, she already kind of knew how to play guitar, so I said, do you want to play bass? And she said, sure. So that was the band at first, and there's been some variations since then. I mean, Ella left, and Adam is now the bassist, and Connor left on his mission, and now Cheb is the, guitar, the rhythm guitarist. So yeah, and our first concert was, yeah, my junior year. And we also had a different singer named Saya, and that was the only time she ever sang for us. Well, I joined a little after you, because we had a different bassist, but then she left, and my, then I, I joined. My sister was the original bassist, but she, she didn't rock out enough, so we got Adam. I like it because it's fun, like I, you feel cooler, you, I mean, it's fun to perform, people like it, can make some money, I mean, we haven't really made much money yet because we've just been doing free concerts, but, you know, I eventually hope to make some money off of it, that might be fun. I started like the, yeah, not exactly two years ago, like one and a half-ish years ago. To about two years ago, I was a freshman in high school and I sucked, but we're getting better now. <laughs> Our first concerts were just playing during high school and we would perform like one song. And I honestly don't think I can remember how many of those we did. But at least like five, maybe six, maybe I think like five is about it, four or five. And then since I've graduated, um, we've done three big concerts where we play a lot of songs and it's just us playing. We did one last summer, just about a year ago, it was June something, 24th I think. That one was fun, we had a big turnout. Then we did one um, this year actually, the very start of the year, January 4th, I think it was. And that was fun too. And now we're, we're planning for one in two weeks, June 21st. I can't remember exactly the date, but it's, I'm excited for this one. It's gonna be our longest one yet and we're gonna play an original song. So yeah. I'm getting a lot better at chord progressions and just writing all that stuff and the song itself, but when it comes to lyrics and melody, that is my not my strong suit. I can do melody okay, but with lyrics and names of songs, I'm needing some work on that, but I'm starting to get better at that. I never thought I was a good songwriter. I always kind of tried and I could kind of mess around and kind of make stuff. And I was just like, ah, it's just not for me. And 
going to college, I did music school for a while and I learned more about how song structures work. And that actually helped me a lot with learning how to write a song. So it made it a lot easier. And one thing about songwriting is the hardest part is just your first song, just getting it, because you really want your first song to be really good. And it's very unlikely that the first full song you write is going to be very good. So the main step is just to get it done and write it. And yeah. College, it was, it was actually really good for me. I think I learned a lot about music and how to play it and write it and just how it works. Um, I don't think I'm gonna go back to college for music just cause it kind of just teaches you to be a music teacher. And I don't really wanna be a teacher, I just wanna be a performer. But what I learned there was really good for me. So like this whole interview thing is pretty fun and I hope to get big enough that I can do this every single day. <laughs> that's my goal. <laughs> <laughs> that that's a lie. Okay. It's a lie. <laughs> I have nothing to add. <laughs> he saw it. He was there. It was beautiful. It was actually beautiful. 